Hello, so I was using pigment colours, not the, these are different, I don't know why they're different, they're different, they're heavier, they don't, uh, you can't, like these, you just drop them in and they, they mix and blend, but these just sit quite heavy, so it's better to mix them in with the resin, so. This was what I had left over, so I just used them on wee gems. I love that colour, fluorescent pink. It's beautiful. And I've got a few more to take out. Then I bought these and... I'm trying to remember what this one came with. Anyways, oh I know, this one came with the... Um, the wee lipstick holder and the pot and it's tiny it's quite funny how small it is but i'll do a tea light i suppose ah uh, and this is pigment powder i don't know if it's gold pink or just pale pink i'll just put them away so oh that's cute it's not another one like that it's lovely like well, you can see the detail on it that's really cute, wee tea light holder. Um, so these wee animals I bought as a set together. Oh, and it's funny because I've got a, where is it, the reindeer. Right, so I did the reindeer and I took it out and everything was set, everything was set. But the ears, which was so weird, because it's they're tiny. So the ears were not set, so I pulled it out and the ears stretched. It was like chewing gum. So what I did was I just, this is what they look like. It's just a big stretch. What a mess. But I thought, I'm not going to waste it, because this stuff's expensive. So I just stuck the wee ribbons of what were ears down, and I used my paint. I need to fix that, but I used my paint to... Colour in the wee eyeballs, so that's quite cute. And as I said, there's no way I was going to waste that. Resin's not cheap. But aye, it came out lovely. So I don't know if it's a wee, it's like a wee dog or what, but I thought that was quite lovely. And it just shows you, you if you get a disaster, you can always fix it. Right, this is a bear, and I'm just praying. This has been sitting overnight, that it's dry. Oh, phew! Absolutely roasting. Oh, look at that. That is the cutest. That is beautiful. Oh, I love that. Need to put some wee eyeballs on it. Oh, that's gorgeous. That can be lovely. Let's see, I've got my tub of stuff here. What one was it? Whoa! Yep, that's right, just drop them on the floor. I don't know, it may have been the gold pink. Gold, golden pink. Because there seems to be quite a lot out in that one. Aye, so, these moulds are really easy to fill compared to other moulds, but my God, taking them out is a nightmare. But I love how, uh, look how sharp are the angles are. It's really, really nice. That's come out beautiful. As I said, just need to put a wee face on it. Right, so I made up a big batch of that. <coughs> I don't know if this is... I'm running out of space. I'm telling you, man, making resin stuff is addictive. It really is. It's actually more addictive than anything, any craft I've ever tried. Because the results are amazing. And you can add so much glitters and colours and pigments. And... It's just amazing. Right, it's still a bit soft, but look at that. Look at the gorgeousness of it all. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Got a bit of paper. I'm 
I want to try and get the glade off. That's gorgeous. I absolutely love that. That's the side I need to dome. Ah, that's beautiful. I must say, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I was going to buy a craft drill, but then I forgot I had this cordless drill. So I'm using that just to put a... I was using the wee hooks to put on the top of the um, the resin. But um, when I was screwing them in, they were snapping off, so I needed to bore some holes so I can put the ribbon through. So I'm just going to use my drill and get it order. Saves me buying something. I already have a drill. So we have two totally different sides. We've got that one. Let's get foil and pigment colours. And we've got that side. So two totally different sides. That is so funny. That's amazing how different they look. Never blended together. Oh, I think they're lovely. So you have that side and then you have that side. So that's nice. You've got double. You hang it up and if it twirls. Two totally different sides. So that's nice. I just added in the blue glitter right at the end. Because I already had glitter in but I had a bit left. Ah, oh, that came out lovely. Very different. Um, oh why these, for goodness sake, I'm forgetting about them. Hopefully these are dry and I'm not going to end up... Oh, I might try the unicorn first. Please don't be stretchy like that last one. So again, I used the pigment colour with glitters. Go, fingers crossed. Oh, yay, it came out. Oh, my God, it's brilliant. I'm so happy that turned out. It took me forever to push them in and put them in the mould. It took me ages to get them pushed in, but that's beautiful. I love that. So happy with these. Look at it. Look how cute it is. The wee unicorn. That's lovely. Really nice. Once I get better, I can try and put it further down and in the, the tail. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's came out really nice. So I'm chuffed with that. Beautiful. And then we have another little Chi Chi. This was the last one. So Hopefully it's not too soft. I don't want to stretch the ears on this like I did with the deer. But it's because it's got such a big head, it's quite hard to get out. Oh, I ordered a mould on eBay and sent me to the bottom of the mould and not the top. I mean, who the... And then they're like, oh, we'll give you some money back. So I don't want the money. I want the top of the blinking pot. I ordered a pot. I don't want half a pot. Who's the use of half a pot? Oh, look how bright that is. Oh my god, and look, that is cool. All the glitter gathered on the top, looks like hair. That's lovely. I'm really chuffed with that. That is so cute. Beautiful. And it's so look fluorescent. Look at the ears. I love how they affect the ears are like, get the pink, but then round it, it's got the. It does look orange, even though it's, it was. A lot of pink I put in there. Don't know why it comes out orange. Now that's beautiful. Really, really happy with that. I see you can see through the ear there how pink it is. I don't know why when it gathers together because it's. Wait a minute. It's dark. Oh, even that's different light looks orange. Weird, but it's a definite fluorescent pink I put in. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I said I love the effect of the pink coming through the ears. 
beautiful so happy with these absolutely love them the unicorn ah, just so chuffed with that and then i'll need to do my oh the, the fun thing is trying to get the color right bye and my wee mistake came out fine and i just had a wee teeny bit left over so i just filled up this rose because you know you don't want to waste anything because resin's expensive yeah, that's nice. That's a beautiful rose. Gorgeous. And it's nice and thin. The other one, so when you fill it right up, it's quite thick. But I actually prefer this thin. The thinness. I prefer that. But that's gorgeous. Look at the detail on that. Oh, I'm so happy. Everything came out nice. Hello. So it's me again with the more resin pieces. I put these in, got them from the works. It's just a shame they don't sell bigger packets because that's going to go fast. But in there we glitter and this one's just glitter. And I made them a bit smaller this time, look thinner because they were too thick. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's much lighter as well. Really nice. Beautiful. I love these moulds. Very easy to use. Oh, that's really cute. I really like that as well. I love the wee flowers, but I look how thin it is. That'd be so much lighter. I could put that in a oh, a key ring. Really nice. I don't know if this is not. It's not. As I said, this one might be a bit thicker, but it's still. And it's good because you still get the shape. You might not get the point. And the heart, but it's still got the heart shape, so excellent. It came out lovely, nice and bright and cheerful. And I did these with glow in the dark, but of course, they've been sitting overnight, so they're not going to be glowing. I'll need to uh, get a light on them and show you later when they're glowing I never filled these ones all the way up either that's cute I'll just uh, I can make just cut that off scissors are covered in gold ah I can sand that off it's fine okay where's that UV light that might make a difference but then I've got my curtains open so Oh, that's nice as well, nice and thin. Don't want them too thick. Just need to um, cut off the excess bits. And then this one. Oh, I'm really chuffed with them. They come out nice. Get my UV light. I don't know where to put it. Right, if I UV it, can move this. Right, so that was them. They came out lovely, and I have a coaster mold. I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out. This is heavy. I don't understand why they make them so big. I mean, come on, who needs a coaster this huge? They're far too big. Hmm, still a bit wobbly. Wibbly, wobbly. So this is gold mica powder and gold flakes. Oh, that's beautiful. can have it that way or you can have the block that way ah that can be really nice I said it's huge the size it's the size of my hand I was thinking I could use that something like this for my wee people people arminals uh, painted the Put some paint on the faces so you could see the detail because you can't really see it. 
I thought something like this, and then you sit. You could do uh, touch. You could attach a few of them on, I suppose, if you wanted. Aye, so I thought this, the paint was quite nice, and then I did the eyes. So you could see. Aye, it'd be nice to have a few of them on there. And I gave the teddy bear a couple, a couple of eyeballs. Right, it's just an idea. I'd like to make a wee kind of something for them to sit on. and That would be cute. So that came out lovely. It's really nice. It's just experimenting with stuff. That came out nice. I like the um the rim. The gold rim. Ah oh, the black's nice as well. It's whatever you prefer. Whatever side you want. And then the last one I did was the wolf. Gold with black glitter, but it doesn't really look like glitter, it looks more like just dots. Gold with black dots. Not glitter, what am I saying? A mica powder, gold mica powder, and black glitter. Well, kind of the heavier, thicker glitter, that one. It is gold in here as well. Gold flakes, I should say. Oh, that's nice. That's it's funny, it's all gathered on the one side. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. To make really nice. Oh, <laughs> there's a wee hole there. <laughs> well, it's not actually a wee hole. It's quite a big hole. I'll need to fill that in. There's a f because of the gold. It's the gold flakes. There's bubbles get underneath, so I'll need to dome this as well. Fill in that hole. That is quite a big hole. But I love the effect. So we've got most of the glitters kind of just collected at the bottom, which is strange. And then the other side, it's just pure gold. That is mental. It looks as if I did two different pours, but I never. I just mixed, mixed the mica powder and the glitter in together in a pot. But for some reason, it's all settled. Ah, it's lovely. I really like that. Love that effect. I got some powders. Bought these on Amazon. A box of glow in the dark. They weren't that expensive. I'm cheapskate. I don't pay a lot of money for anything. So, colour did I put in? Oh my goodness, I can't even remember. It must have been pink. It must have been pink. Cause it's... It coloured it as well because it's never put any colour in, so it's coloured it and it's UV'd it. But I want to try out the other ones. I want to do a moon with a glow in the dark, so I think that'll be beautiful. Right! As you can tell, this is my new favourite hobby. Because I can't stop making things. It's just like an obsession. I absolutely love it. Um. I said I'm going to make these into key rings and if anybody would like a key ring just send me a email and tell me you would like a key ring my email is always in the description box below so if you would like one of these hearts I've got three just need to um Put the holes in them and send them out. Just make sure there's not any wee bits. Right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Cheerio.